Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to today's video. So I just want to apologise for the lack of content that's been posted the last two weeks. Like I have been so ill with freshers flu. I know it sounds like a really silly excuse, but if you've had freshers flu, then you know how bad it can actually be. Um, so I've not been feeling 100% the last couple of weeks. I've also been so busy starting my course and like getting things ready. I worked like arrivals weekend for the uni and stuff like that. So I've been so, so busy, but I am back now and I want to start filming more regularly. Um, and today I thought it would be a nice idea idea to do a room tour so if you've been following my channel for a while then you know that I have done a room tour every year since I've been at university I did one in my halls in first year when I lived in Hickling so if you are at UEA and you live in Hickling or you're thinking about coming to UEA and you want to see that I will link that down below um, and then I also filmed my second year house like my room in my second year house I lived in the same house for two years so that's why there wasn't a room tour last year but I am now in a different house so this is is the third place that I've lived in while being at university. This is my final year at uni. I'm doing a master's course now. Um, so yeah, that's really exciting. I absolutely love this house. I briefly showed you my room in my last video when I moved into this house, but it was pretty empty and there wasn't, it wasn't very exciting. So I wanted to get everything kind of in my room how I want it. And I thought it'd be a nice idea to show you again. Now it's a bit more lived in and it looks a bit nicer. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna ramble on too long. Let's get into the video. So this is the top of the stairs leading up to my room. I am in the loft room. Um, so if you haven't seen my previous video, then you might not know that. And then this is the door leading into my room. So you come up, go through this door, and this is like a little overview of the whole room. So I'm standing where the door is now. Um, I, I'll kind of go around like left to right. I think that makes the most sense. Um, so yeah, I'm so, so happy with this house. A lot of you know that I was in the downstairs room next to the kitchen in my last house. Um, and it was fine for a bit, but it kind of got a bit annoying getting woken up towards the end. So I'm really lucky and grateful to be in this room. Um, so next to my door, I have this big set of chest of drawers. So I had nowhere near as much storage as this in my last bedroom. I didn't have any drawers like this. I literally had a bedside table, a wardrobe, and one like tiny um, set of cupboards, and that was literally it. So this is a lifesaver. I've already filled pretty much all of the drawers, but um, yeah, on top, I will also point out where things are from because I've got a lot of decorative bits and pieces. So I've got this, which is still from my birthday, yet to be opened. I'm too scared to open it. I want like an occasion to have it open. Um, I've just got my perfume. I've got this little bowl, which I actually painted with my friend Emily. Um, and this I also painted myself as well. I'll um, move the jewellery off. I've just moved some of the jewellery off so you can see. Um, but yeah, I painted this one with Ellie and Ellie and the other one with my friend Emily. And we actually did these really locally in Norwich. So if you are at the University of East Anglia or you live in um, Norwich or Norfolk, then it was a place called the Willow Gallery. It's so lovely in there. The people in there were so nice. It was like a really relaxing activity. So yeah, I actually painted both of these. Um, in here at the moment, I've just got some of my cactuses because I don't know where else to put them because they've got like um, holes at the bottom when I water them. So obviously I don't wanna leave them out on the side. So I'm gonna get some small little plant pots to put them in, I think. But just for the time being, I've kept them in this bowl. Um, and these plants I got from a local shop called Elm in Norwich, which is kind of down the lanes, such a cute little shop. And these were literally like £1.50 each, which I think is so nice and like, they're just really cute and bring a bit of greenery to the room. This I got from my grandma, so I'm not actually sure where it's from. On the back, it says smiling faces. Um, so you might be able to get one of these online. They have them in a lot of home shops though and it lights up, um, so that's really cute. I got this, well, she got this for me when I moved into my uni hall. So I've had it for like three years now. I've got my reed diffuser. I think this is just from Tesco, but it smells really nice. I love having a reed diffuser in my room. I think it just makes it smell so nice and feel a bit more homely. And then I've got this vase, vase, I'm not sure how you say it, from Hobbycraft. Um, this was literally like three pound and I just think it goes with my room so nicely. It's so cute. And then I've got these little flowers. I picked these up from Asda the other day. They were £1.50. I know they're not the most amazing flowers, but I thought they brighten up the room a little bit and they go quite nicely with the vibe and they're quite delicate. 
and then I've got this, I think this was from Tesco, um, again I've had this since first year, like I've had it ages now, and half of the time I forget to even put the right date on it, but it just looks quite cute. Then I have my chest of drawers, there's no point showing you inside because it's pretty messy, but in the top one I've got loads of hair bits and pieces, I'll give you a quick like overview, like hair dryer, curlers, stuff like that, a few random bits as well. Second one down, I've just got socks and underwear, things like that. This one, I've got some of my clothes. And then in my bottom drawer, I've got some of my gym wear, like leggings, sports bras, and then I've got my pyjamas as well. This door is just to the boiler, um, so there's nothing interesting in there. It does mean that my room gets so hot with it being upstairs and the boiler in my room as well, but I, I don't mind that much, and it's gonna not be long before it gets colder anyway, so I'm sure it won't be too much of an issue. Um, and then down here I have my shoe rack, so I mentioned this in a TikTok, this is from Amazon, um, I can't remember how much it was but I don't think it was too expensive, I will see if I can find a link below, um, I've had this since second year, I feel like it just makes my room look a lot more organised, I can't deal with mess and I feel like it looks a lot better than just having all my shoes chucked all over the floor because as you can see I have a fair few pairs of shoes so yeah I'll try and find a link below um, just from Amazon. I've then got my mirror, this came with the house, like I didn't have to buy it myself so I'm not sure where it's from. Down there I've just got my ring light again, this was from Amazon, this is actually such a good ring light, so it's got a stand on it and you can put your phone in there, and on here you can have like loads of different settings, so it's got like a cool light setting, a warm light and like a neutral, and you can change the brightness and stuff as well. So I use this when I'm getting ready, I just pop it on my windowsill, because at night my room is pretty dark, there's only one light in my room to light up the whole thing, um, and this is a lifesaver for nights out, it just makes my room so much brighter. Um, so yeah, I would try and also find a link for this. Then I've just got my windowsill, so I keep my makeup on there because I always do my makeup in the mirror next to my window. Um, and then I've just got like a candle from next, some random bits and pieces. Moving into the next kind of corner, I've got my bedside table. All of the furniture came with the house, by the way. Generally, when you move out of halls and into second and third year uni houses off campus, like the basic furniture tends to come with the room. So I'm not sure where the actual furniture is from, but I've just got loads of bits and pieces in here. This drawer is so messy, so I'm not gonna show you. And then I've just got a few snacks that don't need to be kept in the fridge in here, so like crisps, cereal bars, that kind of thing. My straighteners aren't normally here, but I've just straightened my hair, so they're just cooling down, I've unplugged them. Um, and then I've got this light, I love this light, it just, it's um, pink as well, you can't really see that very well at the moment because it's really light in my room, but at night it lights up literally my whole room pink, and it, I just love this. My mum got this for me, it was from Dunelm, um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Dunelm says on the bottom. Um, yeah, so I absolutely love this. Then I've got my cute little picture frame that my boyfriend got me for Christmas. I've got my alarm clock lip balm. Um, and then this is the bed, so a double bed, which is really nice. I'm pretty sure last year they said it was a double bed, but I'm sure it was the three quarter. This seems a lot bigger. Um, my bedding is just from Tesco, and I actually love this. I've had this for three years now. I had it in my last house as well. And then I've got these pillows, which are also from Tesco, but this pillow behind is from Next. Um, I've got my little teddy bear that my mum got me as a graduation present. How cute is that? Um, that's from Build-A-Bear. And then I've got this blanket, which is from Darnelm as well. This is the softest blanket ever. I love this. Got my Zara bag. I have just filmed a haul as well yesterday. So that will be up soon, like a winter, autumn kind of haul. Um, so look out for that. That should be up a week after this one. So then over here, I've got my wardrobe. And this is a huge double wardrobe. This is bigger than my wardrobe at home, which is needed because as you can see, I have a lot of clothes so yeah this is just amazing <laughs> and then up here is a shelf so I've just got some more jeans I've got my winter coat this is kind of like my fancy dress 
corner whatever like loads of random bits and pieces i've got some bikinis glow sticks just like anything that i might need for socials that kind of thing then i've just got this box down here that i'm storing like random bits and pieces that i don't need day to day in i've got my washing bag and then i've got this wash bag as well where i'm just keep like my clean bedding and stuff like that after it's dried and then on the back of my door i've got these hangers that just go over the door these are so so handy to have some Sometimes you can't like fit them like the door won't close but this just about closes with them on which is so handy so I've just got some of my hoodies hanging up and my gilets um just because they're quite bulky so it saves having to use actual hangers these are really inexpensive you can get them from places like Amazon, Dunelm, any home places for super cheap so I just find them really handy and then over here I have my little study corner which is really cute so I've got this is like another bedside side table but I'm using it to store like my work stuff um, I've got this photo frame. The photo frame is from Next, um, which is really cute. And I've got this photo in with Ellie and Ellie. And then I've got this basket. I did have this in the bathroom in my last house, but I don't have a windowsill in my bathroom, as you'll see in a minute. Um, but I just keep like basic products that I kind of use day to day in there, so it's easy to get to. In this top drawer, I've got bits and pieces that I need to do my work. So I've got my pad of paper, scissors, pens, pencil case, folders, um, file dividers, everything like that. Not very interesting. And then in here, I've just got like top ups for some of my... Um, what's it called like toiletries things like that i've got my color catchers um if you've never used color catchers before they are so useful it just makes sure that um the colors don't like run if you put in like darks with like colors and stuff like that then i have got my rucksack that i use for all of my lectures so i've mentioned this in a tiktok but i also got this from amazon i feel like i've got so many things from amazon but this is so useful i ordered this because my handbag broke last year and i needed something super Super quick and I actually have um, Prime Student. If you didn't know, then you can get Prime Student for £3.99 a month, which is so cheap. And honestly, I recommend it so much. It's really useful for things like socials if you need to get something really quickly. Um, and Amazon basically has loads of products. I'm sure most of you have used Amazon before. Also, you can get a six month trial at the moment, which is amazing. So I will leave a link in my bio if you'd like to sign up to that. I'll turn my camera around while I say this because I feel like I've been filming my bag for so long. So yeah, you can get all of the same benefits with Prime Student as you can with normal Prime, but it's half of the price. So normal Prime is £7.99 a month, but Prime Student is just £3.99 a month, which is super, super cheap. It's literally like a pound a week, which is amazing. You can also get a six month trial, as I've just mentioned. You get unlimited fast delivery, Prime Video, Prime Music, and so many other benefits. So check out the link in my bio if you do want to sign up to that. Yeah, so as you can see, I get a lot of products from Prime Student. I will link them all in the description if you also want to get these so yeah this bag is really handy because it's got a compartment at the back where you can put your laptop in it's also got a zip bit there as well it's got these places where i can hold my pens there's pouches at the side where you can put a water bottle a little pouch at the front as well where i just tend to put my keys and it's also adjustable straps which is really handy and it's like a cushioned material and then moving on to my desk area so i got this lamp recently from wilco yeah wilco um it was only like five pound and it just brightens up my room because as I mentioned earlier, my room is really dark because the only actual light I have is this one here. So at night, this corner is so dark and I'm thinking like, it's gonna start getting dark at four o'clock before you know it and I'm gonna have to do work and I don't wanna do work in the dark. So yeah, I just picked up this lamp from Wilco, this mirror, I think this is from Tesco, but it's just a basic bathroom mirror. You can get them from anywhere. And then this plant, this is from Wilco as well. They had a sale on. This was £3. Like, how cute is that? I actually love this. Um, and I feel like it goes really well with my room as well. I've just got my little Starbucks cup. And then this pot, which is from Ikea. Looks a bit empty at the moment, but I'm just going to fill it with pens and stuff like that. I've then got my laptop. Um, my laptop case is from, I think it's called Neon Sheep or something like that. 
Um, I've had it a few years now, so I'm not sure if they'll still do it, but I absolutely love this laptop case. It's super cushioned, so it's really like protected in there. And there's also like, these are pockets at the front, so I can put like pens or post-it notes or anything like that in. And then this is my weekly planner. If you're going to get anything from Amazon, I would highly recommend a weekly planner. If you're at university like me, they are so, so good to keep you organized. As you can see, I use it a lot. I write down all of my lectures, what I need to do day to day, and I kind of use it as a little checklist. So as I've done things throughout the day, I like check it off. Um, and then I normally use this notes bit for a food shop. So again, I'll link this down below. I got this through Prime Student as well. I've got these folders. I got these from WH Smith because I love the pastel colors that they have and I've had them for years now. So I didn't want to get anything new. And then in this drawer, this is actually such a handy little drawer to have under my desk because it keeps all of my stationary bits and pieces. So I've got my stapler, hole puncher, highlighters, post-it notes, pencils, like anything that I need to complete my work. And then under here in a nice like tucked away compartment, I have my printer. Not gonna lie, I would not recommend this printer. I don't think it's particularly great, but I have had it for like four years now. So maybe it's just getting a bit old and it was super cheap. Like it does the job, but if you're looking for a long-term investment, then I wouldn't get this one. But if you just want something cheap that does the job, then it's fine. So then moving on here, this is so exciting because I have an ensuite and oh my God, I just feel so lucky. So I will show you a little quick overview of my ensuite. So at the moment, I've just got stuff drying on my drying rack in here, not very interesting, but I've got my mirror here. And then this is like an overview. So I've got my sink, my toiletries and stuff um, on my sink. Then I've got my towel and down here, I have my storage like box thing. So again, I've had this since first year. You might recognize it if you've seen that video. And I'm just keeping like everyday stuff that I need, like toiletries, um, backups of things like toothpaste, face wash, stuff like that. I feel like a box like this just makes it look a lot more organized though. Um, and then I've just got some bleach and some hand soap for when my one runs out. Not particularly interesting, but yeah, I've just got my towel hanging up, the toilet, and then this is the shower and all of my toiletries in the little bit in the shower. So, so yeah, that is it for this room tour. If you want to see my other ones as well, then I'll link my first year one and my second year one in the comments down below. If you want to see where I lived before, I feel so lucky to have this room. I absolutely love it. Um, and yeah, that is it. So keep an eye out for my next few videos. I'm gonna be doing a lot of student content and stuff coming up in the next few weeks. But as always, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'm getting so close to 4,000 subscribers, which is really exciting. This time last year, I hadn't even reached 3K. So that's actually crazy to me. Um, thank you so much for all of your support. And that is it for this video. So I will see you in my next one. Bye.